Welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Allison Topperwine. And I'm Vince Penman. Until recently, the use of direct modeling was limited mainly to animation. But now, designers of all types are starting to use direct modeling. In today's episode, we'll show you why. Before we get into a discussion of why direct modeling is useful, it might be helpful to understand what it is. Put simply, direct modeling is a CAD method that allows designers to interact directly with the geometry of a model, manipulating it by pushing, pulling, or changing it in a WYSIWYG manner. So unlike parametric modeling, where a feature's final geometry has to be built into the steps that create the final model, Direct modeling allows a feature's geometry to be modified without having to edit the interim model stages. One of the most profound ways that direct modeling is changing the way people design is due to its ability to create complex surfaces on the fly. Today, consumers demand more than just function from a product. They want products that look beautiful. In the past, creating the flowing, complex surfaces that help people identify with the product took a ton of time and effort. To create this complex geometry, multiple sketch entities had to be linked together to form and guide a surface along a desired path. But with direct modeling, simple geometries now can be pushed, pulled, and twisted to create any shape imaginable. Because creating complex geometry is becoming much easier, it's allowing design teams to quickly explore a greater array of designs for each product. With the help of this new paradigm, design teams no longer have to settle for a design. They can push the envelope of what's possible and create more desirable products. But direct modeling isn't just about designing beautiful products that people can't resist. Direct modeling also gives you the power to modify previously created parametric designs without surrendering any of a model's important dependencies. Because some CAD software now has the ability to take a parametric model and import it into a direct modeling environment, making critical and dramatic design changes doesn't have to be an uphill battle. This type of flexible modeling gives your design team the ability to preserve all of the hard-built constraints and dependencies while leveraging the advantages of on-the-fly design modification. And that can be critical when it comes to making late-stage design changes using non-native file formats or having to update older models, where the design intent has been lost. In future episodes, we'll explore some of the real-life situations in detail and show you how flexible modeling can make a dramatic impact on the way that you design. Thanks to PTC for sponsoring this episode. To learn more about direct modeling and PTC's flexible modeling extension, visit ptc.com slash solutions slash design agility. And thanks for watching this episode of the Product Design Show. Please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.